Can you explain the favorable tax treatment in Luxembourg and uh, tell me whether there is any risk that other U EU countries object to that? Uh, okay, the main uh, idea of Luxembourg taxation system is that they try to invite uh, the powerful companies to, to, the, to the country and they treat it with a lower tax rate. For example, Luxembourg started, uh, uh, started their operations since Luxembourg and now like uh, the uh, Luxembourg state is the largest shareholder that it treats it with a lower tax rate comparing with other. Also, Luxembourg state approach, um, try to invite companies from uh, in other countries and, and try to use uh, also a lower rate to, uh, to make the more, um, more more not suitable but the better conditions for them in their country. So they uh, has uh, they have such uh, approximately such tax rate for uh, previous years, n not just in this year, and we do not see the possible threats to uh, tax rate to change from this level. In fact, the company can enjoy tax uh, benefits in, to in terms of tax income uh, in case it uh, uh, commissions uh, some equipment from Luxembourg-based uh, producers. For instance, in 2012, they enjoyed around 40 million of t uh, tax income for, uh, for that purpose. You mentioned 70% of revenues come from three customers. How sensitive is your uh, result uh, to losing one of those customers uh, in devaluation? Uh, indeed, that SAS have a very beneficial revenue structure. Uh, our main uh, customer is the media, and it accounts for the 70% of total revenues. The next two groups of our customers is enterprises and uh, government. So SAS has a very beneficial structure. Why? Because 70% comes from media, and media has uh, longest contracts, up to 20 years, uh, for example, in uh, Germany. So it helps us to uh, maintain a considerable backlog, which secure our revenues for the uh, future. So uh, it. Uh, there are not uh, three uh, clients in media group. We just showed you the possible ways uh, how company could work through direct to home, terrestrial networks, occasional usage. But in this 70% 70, uh, 70 of media clients, there are a huge number of companies, so uh, revenues are well diversified. The client we are most sensitive to is the government because they have short-term contracts which are roughly one year or two and if defense spending, defense spending cuts come to place, their revenue will, will fill that in the nearest year. So that is the one we're sensitive, but we have industry-wide the lowest share. So uh, in terms of the business model, uh, who manufactures the satellites? For SES, uh, yes. uh, satellite manufacturing is outsourced to European and American companies, so this Alinea Space, for example. Okay, and uh, when do they start uh, or when do they place the order to manufacture? Is it after getting the approvals? Uh, sorry, uh, which Is approval? it after getting the regulatory approvals? So you Regul mentioned in the value chain slide that it takes three years for approvals. Uh, so yes, uh, the first stage is like uh, the satellite operator start negotiating, but he could uh, place an offer to construct the satellite uh, because there are some schedule, uh, because there are a lot of s satellites to produce and there are a limited number of uh, satellite manufacturers. That's why there are schedule to produce the satellite. So he, he starts to negotiate the right to occupy an orbital slot in the space and he can uh, make an offer to starting producing the satellite which he father will launch on this orbital slot. Okay, and, and uh, what happens after 15 years? Uh, uh, the satellite is moving for the grave orbit, <laughs> so it's like the old stuff which it doesn't use anymore, they put uh, on the uh, father orbit to not to broken the road of other satellites. Okay. Could they add? Uh, they, uh, they use satellites for 15 years because of fuel. So 
in 15 years, the uh, fuel is left only just to throw satellite away from the orbit. That's okay. why they have 15 year cycle uh, so, operation. So it's not serviced uh, during the 15 years? The satellite itself, it's not serviced or anything? No, you, you cannot you refuel the satellite. There okay. have been technology developments like that by competition, but they turned out to be not, not cost efficient. It okay. was not reasonable. And, and does it cost them anything to insure uh, these satellites during the 15 years uh, uh, period? Uh, the satellites are insured in two dimensions. First of all, as of launch, they are insured at face value. So if the satellite fails to reach orbit, okay. which, is, uh, which hasn't happened for, set for 13 years or even like 13 and a half already, and uh, as uh, on site where they already in orbit, the fail rates go to like uh, 1 or 1.5 percent per year. And uh, there is uh, some overcapacity which is held by all the operators and they use it in case some failure. If transponders fails, they can just use a different one or like or move a satellite from one position to a different one in order to hedge for that. Okay, thank you. But in, uh, in fact, uh, unfortunately, the satellite uh, cannot be uh, insured in, um, for the casualties of war because it's a common practice among uh, insurers. So it, if it's damaged uh, in the action of war, you can't uh, get the remuneration. Um, if, if you were to uh, you know, advise your, your old grandmother on, uh, on this talk, uh, I mean, wh what would be the story? I mean, is it, is it a dividend growth stock? Uh, is it uh, you know, uh, free cash flow generation? What was the story here? Surely I will advise my grandmother to buy this stock <laughs> and, and put it in diversified portfolio. <laughs> uh, but uh, the stock pays uh, uh, good dividends. It is anticipated uh, to grow at 9% level, uh, which we incorporated in our model and we believe that the company will be able to do this. Also, now it's a uh, bottom uh, cycle of uh, capital expenditures. That's why company in five years will generate a huge amount of cash, which could be used, as, as it to be said, uh, for distributing cash among shareholders. As m as we believe that company should uh, uh, go in this way and uh, acquire sm small companies in uh, emerging markets because small companies have, ex uh, have experience in this market. They have a, a client group. So we believe this strategy sh should be followed by the company. And apart from uh, using, uh, using cash, uh, w what would be the benefits of uh, um, acquiring the, the remaining stake in uh, O3B? in terms of uh, you know, strategic diversification and for that other reasons that you may want to mention. That would be more exposure to the emerging markets and this O3B solution is a unique, uh, no, no other competitor is developing that and they will be serving as they call it the other 3 billion. So the underconnected uh, share of pop world population, they will have much more exposure to connectivity solutions and that would be a, cheap, uh, a cheaper solution compared to fiber optics. So uh, this is like a uh, competitive advantage for us. Uh, this company is a s uh, safe uh, bet to make uh, because, um, in fact, it performs better than the industry on average. And uh, uh, also, uh, the satellite operator is indifferent uh, to the uh, cycles in the economy. So it performed much better during the recent economic crisis. So you will, uh, will not uh, lose your money there. So, and there are two main drivers in this market by now. It's new technology and emerging markets. And O3B, it joined these two opportunities in one thing. So it's very valuable process. Uh, do, do customers uh, who use CES, do they need uh, some sort of regulatory approvals to acquire the service? For, for, the, for broadcasters, there are media regulations. For like example, for uh, broadcasting yeah. or, I mean, why, why do governments need the services of CES? Governments for need uh, for uh, navigational systems, for example, GPS systems and GLONASS, things like that. Also, weather, weather observing satellites, uh, they also go there. So except for CES own payload with transponders, they co-host some payload from governments. For example, these, uh, these uh, weather observing material we've discussed. And as for media, for regulation, they need to obtain a standard licensing for broadcasting, like for any TV station. Okay, thanks. 
Is there a Chinese competitor? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to add a quick note that uh, du during to... Thank you.